Now let's have a look at the restart again. Bryce Forward, he actually took off and look, just uh, car 49, he was actually Terry Wyhoon. Just had a little bit left and right, just trying to get a, a bit of um, bit more warmth in that in those oh. tyres before taking off. Right. So what's happened here is Stephen Lacey has made a mistake on the restart. That's allowed Josh Smith to go up the inside, but he's passed him on the control before the control line. So that's going to have to be uh, up to the officials. With Joshua Smith, Stephen Lacey. Uh, oh, look at this, behind. Stuart Inwood. Gives Stuart him, Inwood now, gives him a bit of a friendly wave. Not really that friendly, but uh, he's been held up big time. <laughs> and Seven, so currently oh, local look time. at that. That's one of the Mitsubishi Evos. Looks like that's possibly blown an inner pipe there with a that's lot of uh, steam coming out the front of the Charles car. Charles Spateri. Yeah, it is Charles Spateri. They call him Turbo Charlie. And probably from instructions from one of the... Our senior Safety. officials. Yeah. Thank you, sir. He looks like he's off to the cricket. And whilst we're at it, thank you to uh, all the uh, volunteers and officials. Yeah, exactly. Without you guys, uh, we wouldn't go racing. The beam. Let's have a look what's happened here. Oh, no. This is going to hurt. Oh! That's uh, car 35. He's just lost the rear braking, unfortunately, and has gone hard right into the side of the BMW of, of Douglas, car yeah, number 35. Douglas and has done a lot of damage to the side of that E30. So here we go again. Let's have a look. So this is at, uh, no, this oh, is that's, still. Oh, wow, that's, that's strange. That's the rears have just locked up Cookie as if he's just pulled the handbrake So yeah, on. Mate, possibly a bit of a mechanical drama to, to that BM. And it wouldn't surprise me if they <laughs> <laughs> caution blind dog. Welcome to Australia, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. For anyone watching the live feed via the Bathurst 12-hour website. The W that we saw before was actually um, the BMW of Peter Burns. And we've got a replay going on. Yeah, the, here's what happened to Stephen Lacey. Right out into the weeds. Lost a lot of pace trying oh. to keep that car on the road. So that's what's happened to Michael Woodcroft. He's just lost it on the vehicle and if you have time you should go down there and have a look but have a look at this Ashley bright up the inside in the XV8 supercar but he runs wide he's going to go through the grass and that's going to allow McAllister to get back past him and Stephen Coe as well actually ran at the time attack well time attack oh he's gone straight ahead uh, a little bit too much pressure there from Warren Miller he's gone straight possibly let's find out he did lock the rears on the entry and that's all it takes not the first and definitely won't be the last no. Poor old Bruce Henley would have had the uh, <laughs> the heart rate up just a little bit. The heart. Very close to that. I did. <laughs> Avoiding some. Oh, accident. look at this lock up, brake lock up. Yeah, just out broke himself a little bit there, Cookie. And what happens there is you try and modulate the uh, the brake pedal because you don't want to jump on it and lock the yeah. tyres and destroy them. And of course, the van supercars don't have ABS, so you have to do a manual type style of ABS by modulating the brake pedal. Mm. And it's going hard. So replay of Rick Newman over the top of the mountain. Oh, that's a late decision to go left. So through the coat tire S's, Rick Newman has... Go for another replay. Let's see what happened. Yeah, so just... Um, do, do you think the tire would have let go under braking going into Virgin Australia corner? I reckon that he's lost it. Yeah. And then as he's spun around, he's hit that ripple strip and it's taken the tire off. That's what I think would have happened. But okay. Cookie, I've been wrong before. <laughs> As have so I. So here we go. Here's another replay. And we just missed the, uh, the start of that. Just catch the tail end of it. But, yeah, so <laughs> unfortunately, he's it, just I driven think he into tried But this is the uh, combined sedans at Mount Panorama. I hope you're enjoying it, Josh. Yeah, the Riverwall Constructions combined sedans. And, oh, you can see the oil pouring that's out of the back That's not of good. It. And that's very smart from Rick Newman. The six-litre NASCAR-built Ford Falcon AU. Yeah. Oh, well done, Rick. Seriously, that's that's, that's some smart good parking. Driving. That's, that is. that's some good parking right there. Yeah, especially with his hands to Outside so to Scotty Wilson and Jordan Cox. No, he doesn't want any of it. He's going around <laughs> the outside of Danny Milano, but is about to get swamped as they go up Audi Mountain because he just has no power <laughs> gas. Yeah, certainly a good start there from Danny Milano when he's now. Is yeah, that Justin so Wade in the number seven BMW? Oh, oh Lee Forrest has hit the wall. Followed, but we've got a replay oh. of this great move across the top of the mountain. Here we go, John. Wow, <laughs> that is some attitude on that car. And you know what? He's got his foot absolutely planted through the floorboards there. But this is absolutely gobsmacking. <laughs> he hasn't even hit the brake yet. No, he's still on full noise. Oh, was Wayne there a touch, a touch between these two? Oh, oh, there was. So Wayne twist up the inside of Philip Showers, and uh, 
Yeah. Oh, was he up far enough? I'm a good mate with was. Wayne. I don't want to say too much because yeah, he'll I probably watch his back. Been. But very, yeah. very close between both of those drives. He's gone on the grass there. He's just nearly like a great Yeah, and had to hand the out the window as well, yeah. saying, no, yeah. you're going to have to go past me. Yeah, so mine with a twist. <laughs> Remember Scott. that? The uh, Mazda oh, 3 yeah. here, the, one of the So here's a replay out. of uh, the incident here. So Scotty Wilson's not sure if he's slowed down or he's missed the break seven. That was that was quite a... Oh! oh Van der Kamp's wallet. Wow. No! So Cliff <laughs> picks up another spot, and that was the... Uh, Daniel, uh, Dwayne Allway Mazda that he passed. So Van der Kamp's just gone through there through Bentley Corner sideways and he's just gone in backwards. And she's seen anything like Have a look at this. So light. Jordan Cox with the <laughs> left rear wheel, probably nearly a foot in the air as he comes through McPhilmy Park. Look at the attitude on that car. And, then, and he didn't back out of it when he went over the top of Skyline, too, because he had a wheel off. I don't think there was much more said about it. I didn't hear anything anyway. But here we've seen this incident down at uh, Maguire's Murray's Corner. Yeah, he just oh, come just in on his own. Is this a strange lose, mid-corner no, like that? Yeah, he's lost the rear of it, so he might have braked a bit too heavy in the front. The rear's just decided to lighten up. Let's see what happened into Griffin's Bend. This is the BMW and the Commodore. Oh, no. Poor old David Cox. He's had a wicked weekend, hasn't he? <laughs> <laughs> he just seems, he seems to be in the wrong place at the wrong time. Oh, <laughs> look at this. <laughs> Someone screenshot this quickly. I didn't know we were drifting this weekend. <laughs> hey, that's a little bit like uh, Brocky's lap in the V end, remember? Yeah, over the oh, he's, 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 he's was a snap overdrive, this <laughs> yeah. one. But uh, Barnett's done the right thing there. Don't try and get back on the track straight away. Just point it in the right direction and get off the throttle and just let it find its own way back. It's that's, the, that's the only way it'll stop you from going across the track and hitting the wall. That's one thing that all drivers should know about McPhillamy Park. If you do go wide there, you have to just keep the steering wheel straight. Do not try and fight it because that's when you see cars go into the inside wall there. Yep. So um, luckily he's got out of that, but what a drift coming into the corner. <laughs> that cool. That's like the Scandinavian thing. Replay of uh, the Caltex chase. What's happened here? Ooh, oh, pricey. Spins the Escort. Car number 70 goes around. Not what he wanted to do, Ian Price. Oh, he took his mate in the other Escort with him, man. Nah, uh, I think he was just... Yeah, oh, these guys are all pretty smart, actually, which is good to see. So let's see. Oh, big lock-up. Big lock-up. I wonder if that tyre's blown. No, the tyre's blown. Just as he's entering into Keltex Chase. Just where you don't want it no, to No, yeah, exactly. Oh, no. I mean, it could have been worse. It could have been the left front. Fabian. Or the left rear. Fabian Coulthard. <laughs> on and he'll be right. So let's, here's a replay. Yeah, let's try and work out what happened. So Patton cut across Oliver Smith. And then it's... Okay, so... Uh, Haggerty got up onto the ripple strip there and just lost it. And that caused the, uh, the, the effect of everyone else yeah. trying to avoid it. So Simon Haggerty, we know that these cars don't like going over the kerbs too much as they are quite stiffly sprung. And just picked the ripple strip up, spun the thing, and that was all over from there. Oh, geez, C. Hughes. Yeah, big right hit up there. the back of uh, car number 47 of Peter Clare. So here's what happened to Peter Johnston over the top. Oh. oh. Lost the rear end even before coming through that. Look, uh, I think there might right have been. Left. Showing in yesterday's oh, afternoon race. Oh, no, we've got one off again at Virgin Australia Corner. And I think that might have been Nicholas. That's Michael no, Whiting. it is too. 